52.7% of market participants were bullish on July 17th, the highest reading since last year. That's a massive swing in market sentiment compared to mid-April when bullishness was only 32.1%. The recent bullishness is in line with previous levels of peak bullishness and has historically been an indication of impending market reversals. In fact, the last time over 50% of market participants were bullish, which was actually back at the end of March, the market saw a quick 5% pullback from that point. The same exact thing happened on July. 17th when we got these other peak bullish readings. And today we're seeing a continuation of that sell-off and a break of this major trend line here. Interestingly enough, the July 17th peak bullishness also coincided with a sharp reversal in gamma exposure territory. If we look here at our historical gamma exposure graph, we can see that up until the middle of July, we were in positive gamma exposure territory. However, on July 17th, we saw a significant shift into negative gamma exposure territory. And since that point, we have been firmly in negative gamma exposure territory. If you're not familiar with gamma exposure, there's a link to our GEX playlist in the description below. So how are we trading the big reversal that started back on July 17th? One of the first things we're looking at is our gamma exposure data graph of the SPY. And in particular, today's a big nasty down day. The 530 strike is the largest gamma exposure concentration. We just hit that target uh, a little bit ago. Another thing we've noticed though is that gamma exposure is growing here at the 500 strike. This is notable. It doesn't mean we're going to hit 500 today, but what it tells us is that market participants are positioning in the 500 strike into the September and October expiration. So that's definitely something we want to watch. Interestingly enough, if we just look back earlier in the week, we posted in our trading community discord back when the SPY was trading just under 544. We were highlighting the 540 concentration as the largest gamma exposure concentration. Like we mentioned, we've been in negative gamma exposure for the last couple of weeks. Simultaneously, we had an implied volatility reading of 89.2. This is a, our GEX weighted volatility gauge, 89.2% higher than all of the readings in the past year. So already we're seeing significant increases in volatility. And we were also noticing that gamma exposure was growing at the 530 strike. So even though we had not yet breached this 540 level here, uh, at the time we were trading at 543.91. This was a big first target. If we broke that level, the 530 was the next obvious target. And so I'm showing this to you guys because this is exactly where we are today, trading right below the 530 level. This is the largest gamma exposure concentration. And we are keeping our eyes on these other large gamma exposure concentrations that are growing here at 520 and down here at 500. Another important factor that we're looking at is our GEX intensity gauge. This gauge tells us where total gamma falls within the historical range. Currently, the SPY has a total gamma of negative 2.6 billion. Well, what does that mean? Negative 2.6 billion is a random number if taken out of context. And so what we've done is we measure gamma exposure relative to the historical ranges. And we can see here that gamma exposure typically falls on the SPY, typically falls between negative 4 billion and positive 4 billion. So we can see that we are at an extreme reading here. There may be a little bit more to go, perhaps later today, perhaps Monday, but we're getting near a extreme reading where reversals often happen. These reversals could be temporary or it could be long-term. That remains to be seen. The next thing we look at is the VIX. We see a huge spike in volatility today. The VIX is up 50%, which is an absolute, just absolute monster move. This is significant because we've got to go all the way back to 2023, the beginning of 2023, to see a spike in the VIX of this magnitude. And this is a new volatility regime that we are entering here. Uh, if we just look, you can do a quick just a quick zone here. And ever since this point in time, we've been in a low volatility regime. The VIX, of course, bouncing around, but the majority of the time is spent below the 20 level on the VIX. And so this is what we consider to be a low volatility regime. Well, the past few trading sessions, we've seen this 
huge up move in the VIX, now exploding out of this low volatility regime into a more moderate volatility regime. So here we're trading at around the 30 level on the VIX as of today. And if we just zoom out here a little bit further on our chart, we can see there are various levels of regimes. This is actually something we teach in our Geek University course. And we've got to really zoom out here on the VIX going back to 2020. This is where we were in the nosebleed section of the VIX. This is typically anywhere above the 30, 35 level on the VIX. This is what would be considered a high volatility regime. And so here we are entering this moderate volatility regime. All throughout 2022, we were in this moderate volatility regime between VIX 20 and VIX 35. Almost the entire year we were trading in that range on the VIX. And so it's been for about the past year where most of the activity took place below the 20 level on the VIX. And this was our indication that we have been in a low volatility regime. So this breakout today, again, is very significant, moving into a new volatility regime. Here is another chart of the VIX overlaid with the S&P 500. We're correlating moves in the VIX with the S&P. At market tops, we typically see that a low VIX begins rising, and that's what we've seen here again going back to July 17th. We saw the VIX began rising, the market began selling off. This was a major turning point highlighted by this red line. We see the opposite activity take place at market bottoms. Corresponding with the VIX, we see the VIX typically peaks out and starts decreasing as the market begins increasing. And so these are just junction points that are highlighted at various peaks and troughs as the market trades over time. So this is something we've been watching very closely over the past couple of weeks. And today with the VIX spiking even higher, this top is even more significant. As we discussed at the beginning of this video, extreme readings in bullish or bearish sentiment can mark short-term and long-term tops and bottoms. So this AAII investor sentiment survey, uh, a lot of investors and traders follow this. As we mentioned, nearly 53% of market participants were bullish. 53% doesn't sound like a lot, but remember the, uh, the choices in votes are bullish, neutral, or bearish. And so when we look at the highs, the record highs, they typically peak out around 50 to 55%. Since then, clearly we've peaked out and bullishness is starting to decrease, but look at July 31st, bearishness was only 25%. So we are nowhere near a high bearish reading. I mean, if you look at the one year bearish high, it's 50.3%. So we could have a long ways to go in the market before we see any kind of bottom. So how are we playing this recent market reversal? Well, firstly, we closed out one of our SPY put debit spreads uh, here as the SPY was approaching the 540 level, anticipating a potential bounce that could have occurred uh, on Friday. We didn't see that. We have one remaining SPY put debit spread uh, left, which we are still holding. But a couple of important factors that we are watching from a technical perspective, we do see that we are already reaching potentially oversold conditions. With the RSI at 38.69, this is approaching levels where we saw significant bounces in the market before, going back here to April, uh, as well as the end of October of 2023, we saw a major bottom in the market. Previous times before that, we had seen temporary bottoms in the market as well. These were situations where we saw just temporary bounces before the continuation of the downtrend temporary bounce and another continuation of the downtrend. So what we're suggesting is that we could be reaching some sort of temporary bottom here. This is also backed up by the extreme negative gamma exposure readings we're seeing on Friday. And so we think any weakness early into this new week could result in at least a temporary bounce back up into this trend line. That could actually last into September potentially. Again, we have to watch the real-time data and analytics. So we'll be doing that this week and we'll post another video as soon as we get more results. If you guys are interested in accessing the tools and analytics that we use, head over to geeksoffinance.com. You can become a member, get access to our GEX dashboard. I'll also put a link down below to join our trading community discord, absolutely free. You can see all of the activity that we've got going on here. Our members also get access to our Geek University 
University course, which is a five hour course included for all of our members, option strategy, volatility, gamma exposure, as well as our trading strategy. Definitely check that out when you get a chance. Thanks so much everyone for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.